Hello, my name is Ilya Colby and I'm from Colby Real Estate Team at William Ravis here in Brookline, Massachusetts. And today I'm here with Bob Flynn, who is our um, loan officer. Hello, Bob. Good morning, Ilya. Thank you for having me. So, Bob, um, tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, how long you've been in this business and... Um, Yes. How long have you been with William Ravis? Yeah, so so William Ravis, so I ran my own shop for about 25 years. I've been with William Ravis, I think I'm in my ninth year now. Ninth year. Yeah, so so I wore multiple hats when I owned my own business, but uh, always originating and back to what I what I love to do, which is helping people get into homes. Bob, during your 25 years of experience, which is actually... 35. 35 years. Yeah. <laughs> During your 35 years of experience, uh, can you tell us which are the maybe the five mistakes that a buyer uh, should avoid when they looking to buy or purchase a property? Yeah, so, so the number one is just waiting, right? So a buyer decides they want to buy a home, you know, renting is throwing money away. It's only going to increase payments when you have a fixed rate, it's going to stay forever and you're always going to have wage appreciation, meaning, you know, something that you're paying for now becomes really comfortable later. So people try to buy for the moment instead of thinking about having it as a 30 year, um, you know, term. So, so something, I always use my parents analogy, right? That they purchased a home and they struggled, right? The, the payments were, you know, $500, including principal and interest. Well, 10 years later, it's laughable. You know, 30 years later, it's, you know, it's, it's amazing. So one of the things we want to make sure that buyers do is understand that their income will increase and that payment stays the same. That's, you know, very important. Um, the other thing, number two, is, is to not having a correct pre-approval. At Ravis, we do certified pre-approvals, which is basically a pre-approval on steroids, knowing that you're out there with a, you know, a check in your hand when you're yeah. waiving that as, as a potential seller. Correct. Um, another one would be, you know, taking care of your credit. You know, credit is everything nowadays in regards to getting the best rates, the best programs, uh, and opening up a plethora of programs for you. So, you know, make sure you make those payments, no excuses. Uh, get them in on time, ahead of time, right? Um, you know, another one's going direct. People, you know, right now, I understand that the market, there's limited inventory and, you know, Buyers think that they can go directly to a seller, even though they have great representation from someone like you, thinking that that's going to change a seller's mind or the listing agent. It's up to the seller. The, list, the seller pays the, the commission for both the buyer's agent and the listing agent. You want good representation that is going to give you the correct information and suggestions and someone like you, Ilya, as such a professional, one of our top um, real estate teams. Um, I think that's, you know, extremely important. And the last one is value, right? You know, we've heard all the stories about somebody making an offer, you know, $50,000, $100,000 over asking price. And I have to remind my clients, especially the first time clients, is you're not paying too much. A uh, property is worth what somebody is willing to pay for it. As soon as you close on that property, that's the value of that home. That's the home that everyone uses for a comparable in that neighborhood moving forward. Yeah. You're going to make instant friends, right? Because yeah. you, your neighbor's going to love that you brought the values up. That's the value. So anyone thinks that they overpaid because it was a listed at, you know, a, a X number and they paid Y it is completely false. It's, it's what you're willing to pay for it. Um, yeah, I agree with you. I agree with uh, actually the, the last, um, advice you are giving to the buyer and as we are aware everybody is talking oh it's a seller's market it's a seller's market but me and you know that this also it's a buyer's market it is because if let's say you remember a client that you had and bought a house two years ago mm -hmm. so you can he had two benefits one is that he got into a lower interest rate and the second benefit that he bought a product that has increased the value maybe 20, 20 or 30%. Correct. Instant equity, you know, yeah. and, and putting a little sweat equity doesn't hurt in either into a property. So don't worry about a property that may need a little work. That's only to your benefit yeah. to make it what you like. 
So if you are a buyer out there and uh, you want to avoid all these mistakes, please uh, get in touch with us, get in touch with me, with Bob, and we'll have you ready on the market so you can make the right business decision and you can win in multiple offer situation. Thank you.